my first summer I came here um, and met Coach Trad, I was really intimidated by him. I thought to myself, wow, this, this guy's crazy. I mean, some of the things we were doing um, just didn't make a whole lot of sense to me at the time, and there was a, a huge learning curve for just the things I was expected to do as an athlete. But as I kind of got to know more about him and his dedication, and I kind of learned, you know, the method to the madness. Most kids, when they get involved in a, in a weight training program, the first thing they learn is the bench press. They come into a place and somebody shows them how to lay down and grab the bar. And I grew up a lot different than that. When I first came here, I was expecting to see, you know, this big macho dude. But then I see Coach Rad and I was like, oh, he shouldn't be, you know, too much of a handful. And then once he finally started coaching me, I was like, wow, this guy is pretty intense. I grew up very small. I was always the smallest person in the class, male or female. And, you know, always the smallest athlete in whatever sport I was doing. So I kind of got into the weight training thing early in high school. And, try to kind of bulk myself up and, and be stronger and more powerful. If I would go to a clinic and I would hear something that no one had really talked about before, like plyometrics, then I would go really research it. And then the next thing you know, I had more knowledge on that subject than even the people that had told me about it. He just doesn't do what everybody else is doing in the industry. He just kind of takes his own kind of style and puts it into everything and is not afraid to try something new. And if it doesn't work, then he'll change it. or. So he just kind of makes it fit to our players and to our system. He's put the trademark on Oregon as a school that's fast and explosive and athletic. I like to use the term bullets. Bullets are better than bowling balls. We want the ultimate athlete, so to speak, the, the blend of all those things. Instead of just one thing, oh, these, these people are huge or, or these people are strong or that type of thing. We want the blend of everything. Power to me is more than just being strong and fast. It's also being very agile. I think one of the most important things he teaches is to be an athlete you can't just be good at one thing you know playing a position in football you can't just be strong you have to be strong you have to be able to move you have to be quick and you have to be durable and I think just you know kind of keeping your mind open to those things is one of the biggest things he's taught me. Transitional agility what I mean by transitional agility is is, is the ability to make good, smooth, fast transitions. Not just from one side of the court to the other or one side of the line of scrimmage to the other, but how well do they make transitions within their own body? How well do they flex, extend, and rotate their body? I remember coming in as a freshman. I, had, I started crying in one of my workouts because <laughs> it's funny, because he'll sit there and let me do a whole set um, wrong. And then at the end, he'll be like, oh, yeah, you just did that all wrong. But, I mean, he's all for the better. He wants you to get to your full potential. Just the way he does things, uh, how he, uh, he does all the exercises with kids. He's not afraid to jump in at any time. That's kind of how he inspires me. Anything I can do, he can do it, and he can do it, like, ten times better. His dedication is inspiring to every one of us. Uh, you see a guy who comes here every day, and, you know, he doesn't take days off, and he what he preaches, he lives by. I mean, he means business. Uh, he's not there to play around. He's there to get the best out of you. And um, like, we all appreciate him for that. And we all have a great amount of respect for him. I think without Coach Rad, uh, the entire mentality of Oregon athletics would be, you know, completely different from what it is right now. One of the reasons I've, I've stayed here for 26 some years is because uh, we've really had good athletes, good kids. Not, when I say good athletes, not just great on the field, but they were fun to work with, they were good people. It's, it's kind of a fun ride, it really is.